all right guys mark boy 316 here with another video this is going to be a tag video and it's going to be five dvds in your collection that you thought you were going to hate but then you watched and you liked it so first one for me was uh the most powerful families in wrestling actually there was quite a bit of information on each of the families on here the guerreros the orphans the the fonts the mcmahons uh, the Rougeos, the Briscoes, the, uh, the Wyndham family, the Henning family, the Von Ericks. Like, I thought this was a well done DVD. And the match listing was actually pretty good. And like two, maybe three three matches were from pay-per-views. And the rest were all from uh, like TV matches or other promotions and matches that were not released. So I thought that this was a pretty good uh, DVD. I, I enjoyed it and uh, I thought I thought going into it was gonna be just they're gonna pick the most randomest uh, families or the randomest matches and stuff but I actually enjoyed it quite a bit next one is I wish they would have came out with a volume 2 because this was volume 1 of the best of confidential this used to be a great show back in the day I figured this was just gonna be like a of the uh basically i thought it was just going to be a few uh snippets from the show and uh highlights and stuff i didn't think there was going to be matches or stuff all that and come to find out there's only three matches but uh, four matches uh snooker and ray stevens bret hart and british bulldog from muslim body too survivor series 90 montreal screw job matches on here and scott steiner booker t from the last nitro that's pretty cool, but all the behind the scenes stuff, the, the never told uh, stories from Stone Cold, Shawn Michaels, uh, Kurt, Ang Kurt Angle tra uh, trains for the biggest uh, competition of his life, uh, special tributes to Bobby Heenan and Jimmy Snuka, I thought it was a well done DVD, I thought it wasn't going to be like that great, but uh, it turned out to be a pretty good watch. So, Best of Confidential Volume 1. I thought I wasn't going to like it too much, but I ended up enjoying it very much when I watched it. Another one here. Uh, the World's Greatest Wrestling Managers. I thought oh, I was only going to talk a little bit about uh, the managers. And uh, they're not going to really go much in depth in them, but actually, pretty damn good. A lot of info on all of the managers. Some great interviews, old school. 80 minutes of exclusive extras. Like three matches on here, lots of classic footage and interviews, and this was actually well done for just a one disc set, and uh, pretty cool DVD. So I enjoyed it for what it was. I thought I was gonna go into here thinking, ah, oh, it's gonna be like hokey and stuff, and actually it was pretty good. Another one here that I wish they could have done this with all the Hall of Fame releases instead of including it with the WrestleMania uh, DVDs. Put it in a two-disc set and put some load, loads of matches and interviews in it. I thought this was only going to be like a repeat of the Hall of Fame ceremony, like the whole uh, ceremony itself. And then just a few uh, thoughts from maybe the fans or thoughts from some of the wrestlers. But no, it's actually pretty damn good. The matches are pretty cool and uh there's three hours of dvd extras so a lot of great stuff on here i didn't think i was gonna like it i said oh i've seen it before on the wrestlemania uh 20 uh dvd figured ah it's gonna be the same no it was actually pretty damn good if you don't want to sit through the whole hall of fame you just pick the favorite ones you want to watch and boom it's right on here and this one Surprised the hell out of me. I thought me it was just gonna be like the first two, but I picked it up for completionist uh, reasons, and because I and because I wanted to get every release WWE or WWF had at the time, and I figured out oh, it's gonna be like the first two. It is called unreleased. They're probably gonna show like, oh, uh, matches like from the nineties, pay per views and stuff like that or matches that were only on VHS but never uh, appeared on on a DVD. I thought that's the way they were going to do it for unreleased of the Attitude Era, like show some Raw and SmackDown matches from the 
90s and stuff and but no this is actually house show matches no commentary which i actually enjoy the unreleased sets they, they came out with were great uh, especially when there's no commentary you can hear everything uh the way it was shot the grainy footage and stuff and just back then it was shot with a one camera a cameraman running around the ring basically uh, and some great matches on here this is a jam-packed set uh, to this blu-ray here and uh, a lot of great content on here I thought it was going to be like the first two sets and the first two sets were only like raw Smackdown matches and pay-per-view matches you had seen before and a lot of the footage you had seen before this was different this was great uh, I was expecting more of the same from the first two even though it said unreleased on it I figured oh it's gonna be like lame ass uh, old raw footage or old Smackdown footage that yes technically it's footage you've seen before but was never released on DVD because it was only on VHS or something that's what I figured it was gonna be but very very uh, underrated set and uh, great set so those are my top five uh, DVDs that I thought I was gonna end up not liking that great that much and uh, ended up enjoying them quite a bit actually more than I thought I was gonna enjoy so don't excuse me I would like to tag anybody from the YWC it would be Wrestling Rampage uh, then the Beast 94, Porter's Unboxing, uh, Gregory Kramer, uh, who else? Uh, oh geez, uh, DVD Freak, uh, anybody in uh, Awesome 4K, anybody in the uh, wrestling uh, YWC, feel free to do this to tag video. It's just five DVDs in your collection that you thought uh, we're gonna be or five wrestling DVDs in general that you thought were gonna be absolute crap and you ended up enjoying so let me know what you your top five are and I hope I get a, a few responses to this tag let me know so thank you guys for joining me and I will catch you guys in the next one